Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. We're standing on our enormous diamond pillar, which has gotten a whole hole. <laughs> Just kidding. Definitely not larger because it looks like Grian in his little teeny weensy tiny pile of diamonds is trying to match our enormous pillar of elven prosperity. <laughs> Game on, Grian. Game on. So that means Grian has made the decision for you. We are going to keep our diamond pillar and see how high we can get it. And I'm curious, is he going to put in the effort over there to try to compete with that? <laughs> but if that means we're going to keep our pillar intact, that means we don't have any diamonds. So the cookie empire starts what the heck? Are you serious? How did I go boom boom? I had a full set of health there. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. I had been on a bit of a streak of not dying on camera. Not to say I haven't died off camera. Okay, where were we? Ah, that's right, diamonds. So if we're gonna leave all of our diamonds in pillar form, it is now time to create the Cookie Empire. We've been working on the Cookie Empire for quite some time, and it is now time to finally reveal it. Hey, I'm Peter Pan. Off to Neverland. Why didn't I land? Why Why did my Elytra not work? I don't understand how I died from Peter Pan's tower. I have Feather Falling. Stranger yet. Why did my Elytra not activate to go to Neverland? Hmm. Anyway, back to what we were actually talking about. I am a very easily distracted scar today, as you can tell, but focus. We're going to build some new massive trees here to make up the cookie empire. So I'm envisioning a cookie factory tree right here looking super fancy and then a cookie shop tree on the other side. Now, cookie factory just gets me super excited because I'm thinking about all the incredible things that we could do to make a cookie factory. I think that'll be absolutely fantastic. Oh, by the way, we're not going to sell just ordinary cookies. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we are off to the nether. We're not starting out too hot here by avoiding death. So safety <laughs> first, and we are ready to go. It's not safe in here. That's why we bring protection. I had to take a quick stop at our massive villager trading farm here. And thank you all so, so much for the positive comments in the last episode. I am so glad you like this wild concept of the ship and the hurricane and all the cargo containers being thrown around. I had such an absolute blast putting this together. And things like this are what just makes me super excited about Minecraft and that guy is still there. <laughs> it looks like he has a friend now. I apologize again. Distracted Scar, I need your help. I want to name this mighty ship. So in the comments, let me know what you would name this ship that kind of fits the villager theme, Tango, Grian, and myself. And as long as the name fits, we'll put it on the back of the ship via banners, which I think could be really, really cool. As I said in the last episode, more work to go here, but that of course will take place on stream and little surprises in videos where I'm just gonna like turn around and something cool will be added to this. But until then, we've got a cookie empire to build. Look at him up there being so cute, looking for my egg. <laughs> He'll never find it. It blends in too well with the dark oak lock. <laughs> Where's my copper? My cactus, my iron and gold, but where's my <laughs> copper? What? Hello? Help. <laughs> He's dear hearing nothing. What is going on outside? Nothing. <laughs> what is going on up there? <laughs> I was just trying to land and being really bad at it. Oh, it's okay. Like, yeah. I think there's a theft yeah. afoot. I've been putting stuff in my smelter, and every time I come back to it, there's nothing in it. Your I, neighbor, though. <laughs> I, have, I have my suspicions <laughs> of my underground dweller. <laughs> uh, uh, your underground dweller. Oh, yes, you've got car. Ooh. Are you here for the other basement for sale? You have another basement? I've got basements for days for sale. How many basements does your tree have? It's a tree. Why does, it, why does a tree have basements? <laughs> well, you got to think about this way. A basement <laughs> can stem from a root and a tree can have as many roots as it wants. Oh my gosh. Okay, you've got a point. All right. Well, let's see this basement then. Let's see it. All right. I mean, all right. My, my Just around the corner here. Pretty. I can see it's well looked after uh, with the, even the, all the dirt and everything and the 
The gravel? Yep, it's yeah. very well. I got some other buyers interested. Wall. It's a Batman. Wall. Okay. Mole man, you know. But so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get on it quick. Oh, I do like the sparkles. But you know, <laughs> I, you know what? You've got a proposition for me, but I've got a proposition for you. Oh. You know? How about we how about we both get into like the business sense of things, all right? Let's help you, right? These shears, right? These glory shears in my hand. Uh-huh. They can insta-break wool blocks without any need for a beacon. They don't need anything. Just insta-break. Okay, let's go to let's go to your hor horrifying creature. I am very <laughs> excited to see this. All right, so okay. yeah, prepare yourself when you see the Cookie Monster, which is like a child, very very angry, and has lost an ear. It, it is horrifying. Look at this. It's just hoeing through the entire thing, you know. All right, and you just take the whole thing down. How have see? these never been in my life before? I oh! don't know. You know. It's <laughs> I'll Pearl, I've died a I'll lot today. I, I, that's why I've got the uh, the token in my hand right now. <laughs> this is great. Thank you for taking this down, Pearl. I appreciate the service what, here. What, yeah, you're doing great work. What, do, do I need to show them to you a bit more before it to convince Yeah, you I'm going to need a little bit more of a demonstration. Oh. That's right. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, I'm not doing this as a service. Yeah. This is absolutely wonderful. I am, I'm loving every minute of it. Yeah, Just yeah. keep going. This is going really, okay. really well. So, wait, does this mean you'll buy some shears, girl? Is there a good guy discount? Ah! <laughs> Pearl, this is really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm, uh, I don't know about good guy discount. Maybe a full guy discount if you accept it. Okay, okay. Well, the problem, Pearl, is that times have been really, really tough and I don't have any diamonds. Oh, I've been here Over before. Here? I broke the sign. I mean, I've been here before. Excuse me? <laughs> you did what now? Nothing. Nothing at all. Right, so here is my lovely stock. I recommend, highly recommend you look inside the chests. And uh, think about what they're worth. They're, they're eight diamonds. Do you have an under chest? <sighs> Hold on. All right, I'm going to have to do something that I didn't want to do. I'll be okay. right back. Oh, this is going to be so painful. Okay. All right. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts even more. All right. I have <laughs> come with diamonds. I have broken my pillar. That's, this is 11 diamonds. Uh, for the services of breaking half of the cookie monster. I have you to know. go with Frank uh, Shearnastrup. Sheer sheer <laughs> Frank Shearnastrup. I got this. Don't worry. It's okay. Frank yep, yep. Shearnatra. Yeah, there I you go. Yeah, Frank Shearnatra. Yeah, we did it. I love yeah. Frank Shearnatra. This it. is perfect. These are the perfect ones for me. Pearl, do you want to help? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't mind me. I'm just watching the glorious she is in action. Oh, they're wonderful. I've been singing a little bit of Frank Sinatra. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. Well, what do we have here? Green adding to his little pillar. Hmm. Hawkeye! No! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, hi there, Green. Scar, I punched myself in the face. How did you manage that? I had my hand on my cheek. And he <laughs> made me really jump. <laughs> uh, what's she doing uh, with, this, uh, with this pillar here? You know exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to reach build height before you do. With this size of a pillar? Don't laugh at a man's diamond pile, okay? It's respectable. It's how you build it, Scar, that matters, okay? That, that's, that, <laughs> that is, that... <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. It's even funnier with a little green on your head. Dude, you see my man bun? Check it out. Wow, it, it really weirdly looks like a man bun. It is. It's, it 100% looks like a man bun. In the end, Grian, I'll commend you. This pillar is adequate. That's it. I'm going mining. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm going mining. See you later. Oh, hey, Grian, by the way. What? By the way, I forgot to show you this. Did you see this other box? Hawkeye! Scar! Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, wow, all right. Welcome back. It is now morning time and we are ready to build. We had a most wonderful time with Pearl and Grian in our last clips, didn't we? I just love hanging out with the hermits. It's now time to be productivity. Right, no, not productivity. 
Productive. But being productivity... Why do I keep saying being productivity? <laughs> that is such a scar phrase. Being productive, that is, is a little harder than I wish it was. Because we have a knack for making things so disorganized. That is why I promise to you that when we build our mega base, we're going to make the best storage room you've ever seen. Also, I forgot to mention here. Are you serious? Are you... These hermits have been stripping in my room again. They know that I do not like unannounced stripping in my room. <sighs> anyway, these chests over here, right? I was taking a peek at these when Pearl showed up. And uh, you can see I got my iron, got my gold, got my cactus, got my smooth stone. But this chest is oddly empty. And this is where my copper is supposed to be. I think Cub is up to something down in the basement. And if that's the... Man, that stripping really upsets me. If that's the case, I've got a little surprise for him a little later. Why have I disappeared? I'm back. Hello. Seriously, if I catch that stripping hermit, I will make them pay. Pay? Hello there, little Wells Knight. How are you? <laughs> that is such a random thing to find randomly on the ground. I found a few eggs, by the way, kind of hidden around the base, like maybe like two or three. So I'm super excited to do the full egg hunt in a little bit. But before that, We've got a cookie empire to build. Quick side note, I found a UFO. That's right, a UFO tree here. <laughs> it's always been a pet peeve of mine since basically 2012 is UFO trees in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry about that. I went on a little tangent. This here is where we're going to build our cookie factory and cookie shop. I've combined them all together and I am super, super excited um, for this. I've put in some work in a test world coming up with what the tree is going to look like, which might not be everybody's cup of tea. I am actually terrified to show you what I'm about to do. <laughs> it's a little bit different. So with that, let's jump into super fast build mode and make ourselves one super awesome cookie empire. Hey, Oscar the Grouch has returned to the server. This is wonderful. He's in his little trundle looking super fancy. You know, that is quite stylish. You got to give it to B-Dubs. B-Dubs is a very, very stylish man. Okay, hit the time lapse. End of super fast build mode and we have got the start of our cookie empire and i am super super excited about this i love this view right here with the uh the elf ears and the cookie empire in the background now as i said this thing was gonna get weird hence the dead tree hanging over the cookie factory with a cookie hanging from the branches there looking super fancy and of course we have our smokestack coming out of the tree so i was trying to generate a little bit of lore around our tree so originally it was just supposed to be a stump and then there was a you know like a chimney coming out of it or a smokestack and then it looked kind of wonky so i kept adding some branches here and there and it basically just well became a dead tree so the question for you is do you like the dead tree or do you want it to be a living tree with leaves? So in the comments, put leaves or dead. And I want to see the consensus on that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. But I had a blast with this. With all the little fun little details around the windows. We have our little mushrooms, some additional uh, smokestacks on the other side. And yeah, this was an absolute blast. When I tore out the little enclosure around the villagers, I found our first egg, the stress monster egg. 
Just having a meeting of the ears. I'll poke in real quick to the interior of the uh, factory here and give you a little bit of a tour as it leaves a lot for the imagination, obviously. So over here, we're going to have an assembly line of cookie production and I have a whole, whole lot of fun with that. And then everything past this window here will be the bakery where people can come and buy their cookies here. And I have some preliminary art for the cookies. And my gosh, my friends, it is going to be amazing. These cookies are going to be so fun and they're going to be a really cool thing for the hermits to enjoy. So now the exterior is complete, we must move on to another project here. That is Easter egg hunting and a little surprise I have waiting for my basement dweller. Silly Goose thinks that he can siphon off my copper. Well, 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 well. There's a particular block in this game that I despise with the passion of a thousand scars and I am going to dump it on him. But before we do that, we've got some Easter egg hunting to do here. And our very first one is going to go in the box. And that, of course, is our Sturrus monster. And the one we found earlier, the Wells of the Night. And that is two. All right, time to start searching for our eggs. I have a little bit of a concern considering my base has a lot of hiding places, especially in the canopy or along the root structure of the bill. Okay, all right, we already found one. Who is this right here? Hold on, hold on, who is this? Oh, it's our snappy dresser B-dubs. There is a yellow pixel right where my cursor is. Do you see that? Yellow can only mean of the false of the symmetry, but how do I get up there? And now where is it? See, I told you it's super hard to find anything in this canopy. Well, hello there, false. Let's pop inside and see if we can find some. Oh, who is this? Oh, it's a delightful cub fan. Look at this little pencil there. Oh, that's so cute. That looks like a butt. Got ourselves a beef here in the store cupboard smelter room. Seven hermits caught. Ah, oh, this area of the tree makes me sad. We have not found a jelly yet to decorate this room. Very surprised nobody put something back there. Somebody has to have put something up here. It's very hidden. Wow. Nobody hit anything up here. That's a surprise. What? <laughs> oh, that's what I did for ZF's base. Oh, that's hilarious. How do I how do I even break this without messing with the armor stand? There it goes. Oh, that was a clever one. I might honestly put that one back there after we're done because that was funny. Some of these sneaky hermits have been putting stuff behind ender chests. Hmm, nothing behind mine. Got a glimpse from below that we've got a hermit up here. There he is, there he is around the side of the chain that looks like a dock. Eight hermits found so far. We're back outside because I think we're gonna find the vast majority of them out here, hidden in the roots, up in the canopy. So I'm looking at all the little corners and I think strategy wise for hiding eggs, I think it might be better to put something in plain sight because the little cracks just call to you to look at him like over here oh <laughs> speaking of that somebody's blue legs thought i'd try to hit it with an arrow to get it out but apparently it's invincible pearl is on fire the last few eggs i'm looking for are hidden very well i have checked everywhere so we're gonna have to really really look through this area with a microscope something's mighty fishy back here <laughs> Found somebody's item frame, but how to get it? Oh, look at this, the jackpot of eggs. Uh, who did we get? Okay, we got Impulse and Cleo. Okay, that was a really good spot because I thought that line right there and right there sandwiched between the chests were item frames. I spent like five minutes banging on those until I saw that little sliver down there. Honestly, if Cleo had hidden her item frame, I would never have found either of these. This one was super well hidden. This would have been a good spot behind the crystal. Hello, grain. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky green. Oh, this could be clever behind the doors. Yes. <laughs> Hello there, XB. Oh, that was a good spot. Man, scouring this tree is painful. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Hills. Found Jevin here cosplaying as Tarzan. This tree is very, very easy to hide things in. And I just search and search and search the canopy. One of the few places I haven't searched yet is the lanterns hanging from the tree. That could be a clever space 
but a difficult one to search. I suppose somebody could hide one in here. Hawkeye! Ah! Ah! Oh, he's actually gonna kill, he's actually gonna kill. Oh, 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 there's something green in there. There's something green. I have, I have used two stacks of rockets. Ow, oh, oh, what in the world? Oh, man. I can't even, how do I die in an Easter egg hunt? We actually did see something before death. In that lantern was Iskull. Just as I was about to give up, we found Hypno hidden up on the corner here. And I have had such a... Wait, hello? Hypno? Hypno, where have you gone? Hypno, where'd you go? Oh no! <laughs> how did... How did he disappear? He's nowhere to be found. Oh wow, he teleported through the wall. <laughs> and that concludes the great Easter egg hunt in our base. Sadly, we are missing just one egg because I have looked high and low throughout the entire base. And Azuma, well, you have eluded me with your egg. Well done. But yeah, that was super, super fun. So a big thank you to all the hermits for the good times. Dropping off the box for Jevin to count. And speaking of Jevin, thank you for putting this on. It was wonderful. Big props to Jevin, all right? Head over to Jevin's channel and tell him thank you for the amazing server event. Now it's time for some lighthearted revenge. And what could I be doing with all this magenta dye? Well, making magenta terracotta after all. And sending Cub a little present here. And that is the magenta glazed terracotta. The worst block in the game. Hands down. No argument. Will not accept anything worse than that block. Fill the hoppers. So this is just about to output and you can see it disappear in this chest. Watch, see, there it goes down in his creepy crypt below. Oh, this is going to teach him for touching a man's copper. Oh my gosh, he's got a free stuff dispenser below the smelter. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, uh, have fun with this magenta glazed, beautiful terracotta. I mean, look at it. How is that even in the game? It's disgusting. What an enjoyable day in, ow, in the wonderful worlds of hermits and crafting. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did where we did our Easter egg hunt. And of course, we built the cookie empire. Now in our next episode, we are going to introduce the cookies, finish the, interior oh no <laughs> oh no poor little fella we'll get you all cured up before we open the shop but uh i hope you guys like the build the dead tree was a little bit of a gamble in terms of creativity so i hope you guys like that and with that until next time this has been good times with scar Knight. always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos if you believe the video deserved a rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and don't subscribe because you may just become scarred for life.